How did the concept of the big three come about? Stax was the heart and soul. All-time leading scorer. Of, of My the, boy. Yeah. yeah. All-time leading scorer in the <laughs> league uh, when he hung it up. And so, you know, he's he going to be our coach now, yes. Trilogy. Yep. But just being a fan, seeing y'all retire and knowing, damn, I know they got more game. Mm. I know it. Like, all they want to talk about is how old somebody is. And they're not talking about can you do it or you can't. Mm -hmm. So seeing dudes retire after building up um, fan base from high school, junior high, college, pros, mm -hmm. like these dudes got fucking 20 years of fans mm -hmm. and they just poof, gone. Mm -hmm. Like that talent has to be pulled somewhere where people can see these guys still play. Some of your most ferocious games are going to be three on three. Mm -hmm. you nowhere to hide. Thanks. I said, man, why isn't this elevated to the professional level? It came from being a fan of the game, wanting to see it continue. Because mm -hmm. the NBA could tell you it's over. That don't mean it's over. Right. Mm -hmm. It's over when you say it's over. Mm. This man right here retiring on his own terms. And the reason I, I thank him for being the heart and soul of the big three because Stax, he was like, yo, I ain't got no friends out here. <laughs> when I touch this ball, it's over. Don't come asking for no kind of take it easy. Nothing. Stop chilling. Stop. I don't want to hear that shit. And he walked around everybody like circling. I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know me, man. yeah. You know That's me, what man. I want to yeah, hear. You know me, man. And he got in there and he went at him hard, you know, just. Nothing dirty, just set hardcore. The, the tone. You got Oakley, Charles Oakley stopping the fight. I'm like, boy, we, we got, got some. Something when here. you got Charles Oakley <laughs> jumping in, saying, "Fellas, <laughs> fellas," I'm saying, "Shit, we got something, man." Mm. And if he didn't do that, mm -hmm. who knows what kind of start we would have got off to? Who right. knows if we would have actually turned this from a great idea into a real league Facts. where pride and Game is on the line, legacy on the line, and people still willing to put it out there. Mm -hmm. That meant a lot to me. I, uh, you can ask my, my, my fiance now. I think it was like late at night, and he was like, I just want to thank you for what you've done for the league. It's like this league wouldn't be the way it is without you. And, you know, that means a lot to us because I didn't get all the props I felt I deserved as an NBA player. Thanks. So to be a part of a league, a professional league, and to get that from our founder, that meant a lot to me, bro. But your founder is him. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I know, that's crazy. I mean. <laughs>